हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अलगुरमिस्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड स्ट्रेट अवे विद द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इट्स फ्रॉम द स्टैक सेक्शन सो द प्रॉब्लम इज कॉल्ड एज स्टपर आई गेस एस टी पी ए आर सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम इट्स द स्ट्रीट परेड यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड यू कैन रीड दिस क्वेश्चन आई विल टेल यू इन शॉर्ट वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली मीन्स Uh, the question in short it means is that uh, you have given some uh, numbers basically consecutive numbers uh, uh, like if you, if the uh, numbers are from 5 so the range of numbers will be from 1 to 5 or if the numbers are 10 so the number range of numbers is from 1 to 10 so what you have to do is uh, you have to tell whether a sorted hmm, uh, sorted numbers can be formed from them so like if the numbers are like uh, here let me show you an example Like five one two three four five one two four three. So can we form one two three four five? That is, can we form a sorted sequence from the given numbers? So basically, that is the question. They have framed the question very beautifully, uh, revolving around the story of street parade. So they say that this is the main street and this is the side street. So we need to uh, follow those trucks in such a way that. when the trucks come out uh, when the trucks come out they are always in the sorted sequence like here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so in computer science way what we can think uh, think of it as hmm, uh, whenever the numbers are going here uh, that is on this side of the street they come in the sorted sequence and uh, whenever the numbers are going here this is that is the side street hmm, we store them in form of a stack like you can see here this is 5 then this is 4 then uh, then again it is popped out so uh, let's uh, so let's move to the algorithm for this problem i hope you understood the problem that is you are given a range of numbers that is the continuous range of numbers that from 1 to n uh, you, uh, that is it is mixed up and you have to tell whether a sorted sequence is possible from them that is yes or no so hmm, let's move to the algorithm for this Uh, for that you need to first uh, identify few rules uh, that is hmm, since we are going to use a stack here uh, as it is shown in the figure you uh, you, you can see here right first is 5 and then is 4 then you can see that the stack is always in the sorted sequence like first 5 then 4 and uh, when we pop it out the values come in uh, in a sorted sequence that so the basic property which you need to remember is hmm, the values in the stack should be always uh, in a sorted sequence and also uh, if uh, the top of the stack is x then the value below the top of stack should be more than x plus 1 uh, uh, sorry more than x mm, so in that way only mm, in that case only we are able to pop it out in a sorted sequence so we need to identify the conditions when you should push and when you should pop here you can uh, note one thing like uh, hmm, since the numbers are from 1 to n so we always know that our starting number or the number which we expect at any point of time that is whatever may be the sort uh, whatever may be the sequence of numbers given to us we note that the starting number will be always 1 uh, and uh, in each iteration we can go on uh, uh, increasing it so let's uh, uh, see it with the help of diagram there we shall co cover all the cases that when to push when to pop when not to power and which is invalid case how to identify uh, whether a sorted sequence is possible or no so let's take it here uh, so this one like see 5 1 2 3 and 4 5 1 2 3 now uh, we know that let's say our number this a uh, minute uh, hmm let's say our expected now let's say we have variable called as expected uh, we know that uh, initially our expected number will be always 1 hmm. right so we are here now uh, let us check uh, the number we have in our hand is 5 and our expected number is 1 why 1 because we need to have sorted sequence and sorted sequence always starts with 1 yes basic logic right so uh, the, the the number here is 5 uh, but expected is 1 so what we do we shall push it onto the stack right so what i do i push it um, i push the number onto the stack hmm now the next number is 1 okay now my number is 1 and my expected number is 1 yes both of them match so what i do i let it go ahead so i let it go ahead that is it is as same as i am allowing the car to pass the street hmm so now my expectation will change from 1 to 2 because this means that uh, once i have encountered 1 now the next number i want is 2 right so 1 to 2 hmm now the next number in hand is 2 and my expected number is also 2 
so i will allow it to pass so my expected number will now become 3 now the next number is 3 and my expected number is 3 uh my next number is 3 and my expected number is 3 so i shall allow it to pass right so and uh, similarly my next number is 4 expected number is 4 i shall allow it to pass finally i have reached to the end of the string uh, end of the string and here i can say that my uh, this stack is a uh, stack has a uh, few elements and i shall pop them off uh, so i will get 1 2 3 4 and the number popped up from the stack will be 5 uh, so uh, not much is uh, understood from this example let me change the example a bit let's say my number is 5 1 2 same number but just one change 4 and 3 so like previous my expectations uh, like i like say my expected number will be my expected number will be 1 here now right now my number in hand is 5 so what i do i just put it onto the stack now i shall move a bit fast here my number is 1 expectation is 1 i shall cut it now my expectation increase to 2 now my number in hand is 2 and my expected number is 2 so yes right now here my number in hand is 4 but now my expected number is 3 so what i am going to do is i am going to uh, since my expectations here does not match what i shall do is i shall put it onto the stack right and then i move ahead my number is 3 and my expected number is 3 yes they match so what i do i pop uh, i cut it and uh, my expected number now will become 4 now since i have reached to the end of the string and there are few values and my stack is not empty now i will try to pop them off now what i will do i will check yes my number is 4 my expected number is 4 i shall pop it off my now my expectation changed to 5 now my number is 5 and my expected uh, number is 5 and the uh, top of the stack is 5 yes so i shall pop it off also one thing to notice as you can see when i have pushed here uh, uh, the stack is in the sorted order like for uh, is is 5 then 4 like you can see from top to bottom that is the top of the stack is less than the the element below it so what you can see is you can push uh, from this you can infer two things that is first one is the stack should always be in the sorted order and second thing you can uh, know is uh, whenever you are going to push the number when your expectations don't match Uh, when expectations don't match you must take care that the number you are going to push is smaller than the top of the stack if that is not the case suppose if there is, is some number 6 and here it is 4 and if you are going to hmm, push here 6 uh, so at the end when you are going to pop up the stack um, the number would be 6 4 5 as it would not be in sorted order so here you got the case where where uh, you uh, you have understood that uh, we must push only when we have a number which is smaller than the top of the stack right and uh, while popping off you can check with the expected values that is is my expected and the top of the stack match then only you can pop let us try another example let's see this 4 1 5 3 2 now let's say again a uh, minute where my pen went let's say a minute my hmm, so my expected number here is hmm uh, let's say now here my expected number is equal to 1 right now my number here is 4 and my expected value is 1 so what i do since my stack is empty uh, i have nothing to compare it with i shall push it onto the stack now my number is 1 and my expected number is 1 yes it matches so i allow it to pass and my expectation change to 2 now here on 5 now my number is 2 but my expected number is 5 so they don't match so i try to push it onto the stack but now you can check here now since uh, the number i am trying to push for you is less than the top of the stack it means that uh, in any of the case a valid sequence that is a valid sorted sequence is not possible here right since the valid sorted sequence is not possible here so i will tell you why it not possible here assume that you are able to hmm, uh, this push this number like for you then you push the number 3 since it since it does not match right we will uh, just assume that we are pushing it the way now once i push 2 now i in, now i have reached the end of the string now here after pushing to my expectations will change to 3 now we'll see 3 and 3 are going to match but for 4 to match 4 and 5 won't match and also if you are going to pop it as it is so what the number i get is like 1 2 3 5 4 that is not a sorted sequence possible and they have said is that once a number goes into the side street can come out and then more be again we can't put it back 
because if you are going to pop the number and again push it back you never know how many times you are going to do this operation right so it is only once it is allowed to do and that is you have to sort the numbers using the stack that is a sorted sequence is possible using the stack or no so i hope this example uh, made you clear few things that is you are going to have things like first you will have expected number why because uh, we use the fact that they have said that the numbers will be from range 1 to n and uh, and all the numbers will be present and those will be distinct uh, distinct so we know that uh, the first number we want is 1 and while traversing if our expected number and the current number match then we move on to the next number else we push it onto the stack if stack is empty we push the number but if stack is not empty we take care of the condition that since we want a sorted sequence the number hmm, uh, we are going to push should be less than the top of the stack if that is possible we push and then we move ahead else uh, else in any of the uh, situation a sorted sequence won't be possible hence we break out so now let's see the code for this i shall show you the code the algorithm is, uh, is the same i shall show you it in python so for your reference i have written the algorithm here you can pause the video and you can read uh, but i'll show you what it is now uh, for first i'm taking the input here i am using the python dq uh, because it can push and pop from both ends but i'm using this dq as a stack right now first i'm taking the input if n equals to zero break because in input test case they have said that the if the input is zero you are going to break hmm. now what i'm taking i am uh, creating an array arrived uh, if which has the sequence of numbers or you can say sequence of trucks now i am assigning my expected uh, number to one and let's say my stack my stack is uh, called a side street as in example they have said and this is the flag uh, which will help me in breaking out the hmm, which will help me in determining whether a successful sorted sequence is possible or no now i will take the numbers one by one uh, let's go let's take this while loop later on it will make more sense so what i'll do first i'll check if my i and expected number is the same so i shall allow it to move ahead and i shall increase my expected value then next what sh what i shall do uh, now this is the case when i and my expected numbers are not same so what i will do is uh, uh, first i will check uh first i'll check uh, uh where hmm uh what i'm going to check yes here i'm going to check that uh, when i'm going to push is stack not empty yes first i'm checking is stack not empty yes the stack is not empty if it is true then what we need to check as i've told that the number which i'm going to push should be less than the top of the stack but what i am huh, so if it is not then in any case the sorted sequence is not possible so i'm setting flag to false and i'm breaking out of it else in any case if stack is empty uh, is in any case if stack is empty then we can directly push it on the number or uh, or if the number you are going to push is uh, less than the top of the stack also in that case you can push so what i am doing i am appending to the left that is i now uh, this while loop uh, will run in cases when hmm, uh, when the stack is not empty and uh, the value on the top of the stack is is matching to your expected numbers right so in that case you just pop the number and you increase the expectations by one uh, these things uh, work when hmm, uh, when you have finished your arrived values or hmm, uh, when the stack is not empty and your expectation matches so there are only three conditions uh, the first while loop checks if your stack is not empty and if stack is not empty and your value matches the expectations you pop the value from the stack and you increase the expected value because we are going because this works because in any cases we are uh, considering the fact that the stack will be in always so sorted order uh, next if stack is empty then what i'm going to do is if i'm checking my uh, current value is my expected value if it is yes then again we are moving further else uh, now if it is not then hmm, the thing you have to check for is is stack empty or no yes if the stack is not empty then while pushing we have to take care of the fact that the number which you are going to push uh, should be less than the top of the stack if it is no then uh, we directly break out of the loop else we hmm, uh, we push it onto the stack so pretty much this is the algorithm uh, for the problem stpar from the code shape foundation section of the stack i hope you like this video and uh, you have got a, a pretty good sense of how to solve this problem so thank you guys uh, give it a like and do share any anything queries you have in the comment section thank you